Hey, um, why are you in my room? Okay, um, just hold on. I'll give you a room tour, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I actually have some really important news to share with you guys. I'm here to share this campaign with you called Up For School. I'm really excited to share this with you. It has been killing me to follow the Syrian refugee crisis in the news. But just generally compare their lives with mine and feel like a piece of barnacle for being so privileged and lucky and ridiculously blessed. This is a movement to bring education to children who are Syrian refugees. If you click this screen right now, it will lead you to this amazing video of how education has just completely transform the lives of these three Syrian boys and most importantly it has the form of a petition on it there's more information on the page but please sign the petition it literally takes three seconds and you will not be a barnacle let's get started with the video <laughs> Okay, so before my desk area, I have this pink beanbag chair from PBT and a tapestry from Urban Outfitters. Above my desk, I have this calendar from The New Yorker. I have a black desk lamp from Target and my computer. And then I have art posters on the walls from Amazon. And then I have this pencil, this gray pencil organizer thing that is full of junk. There's like pens and pencils, highlighters, erasers, you name it, papers, whatever. I have my textbooks, I have a file folder with a bunch of important documents in it, I have loose papers and graph paper in the back, and I have this Starbucks cup, which is too nice for me to actually use. And then here I have some notebooks because I am getting in the habit of writing down all my thoughts and reflections and dreams. And this drawer is full of junk, there's like notepads, bracelets, watches that don't work, etc. Tape, yum. <laughs> Corner of my bookshelf, I have a bunch of important things to me, so little badges from leadership camps. I have a jar of memories and a jar of wishes. Ayy. And then I also have this necklace holder and a couple of nice uh, room decor things. Lost in pieces, I will find my own again. This box is filled with old study materials that I thank goodness don't need any more and I also have some books on the bottom of my bedside table I have winter humans in New York and some books on Venice and Italy in this uh, drawer I have some extra pairs of an extra pair of headphones and some loose cords also a dead plant and some Greek myths great casual reading and and watching um, and this bed is from Bed Bath Beyond or Marshall's one or the other my Christmas lights are from Target this little bag thing is from China, and that blue thing in the bottom is my headphones. So, I'm also sick, by the way. Oh, and this picture I took, or someone drew of me in Paris. Great. Fantastic. Another dead plant. Highlight of my day. Um, some sleep pillow mist that I haven't used in, honestly, years. And also, common punishment, which I'm reading in school right now. And also, another box, or drawer, full of cords. Um, that I have another painting above my next bookshelf. I have some schoolwork. I have a family jar. I have a jar that used to have M&Ms in it. And I have a lot of perfumes, or just three, really. My favorite. Okay, we're done. I have about four centuries worth of Seventeen magazines, some notebooks, some extra file folders, some construction paper, some, or this really nice letter my friend wrote me a long time ago, and also an agenda, so yay. I have more books and a basket of tennis patches, like athletic patches, basically. Wow, my voice sounds like a herd of sheep ran over it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next week with my next video.